Good morning, St. Hugh. I'm Alessandra Colito. And I'm Marco Santa Cruz. And, and welcome, welcome to Raider News. Today is Monday, April 29th, day eight. Let's begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Lord, when the Spirit came down upon Jesus at his baptism in the Jordan, you revealed him as your own beloved Son. This Easter season, may I, who share in your life as your child through baptism, follow in Christ's path of service to all people. We ask this in your name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our April virtue of the month is peace. True peace goes hand in hand with justice. Peace in the world begins with peace in your heart. This month, we are learning about the life of St. John Paul II. St. John Paul II was the second longest serving pope in modern history. He went out to the entire world with a strong missionary spirit and embarked on 104 apostolic journeys to 129 different countries. Pope John Paul II died during the first Vespers of Divine Mercy Sunday, April 2nd, 2005 at 9.37 p.m. On December 19th, 2009, John Paul II was proclaimed venerable by his successor, Pope Benedict XVI, and was beatified on the 1st of May, 2011, after the first miracle of healing of a French nun from Parkinson's disease. Disease. A second miracle was attributed to St. John Paul II when women from a small town in Costa Rica who had a severe brain injury was cured. Pope John Paul II led the Roman Catholic Church from 1978 to 2005. And now here's our weekly virtue message from our principal, Mrs. Fernandez. Dear St. Hugh community, this month we have learned about the different places to build peace. One of the most important is in our homes. When we let family members know that we appreciate them, we build peace. When we try to listen to their, to their ideas and opinions, we respect. We build peace. Be the peacemaker in your home. May God bless you today, tomorrow, and always. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. St. Hugh Catholic School is dedicated to nurturing peace by encouraging a prayerful environment, promoting academic success, while incorporating community service with God in every aspect of our lives. We hope you had a wonderful Easter break. Now here's a recap of recent events. On April 15th, we remembered the Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ with the reenactment of the Stations of the Cross. On Tuesday, April 18th, the 8th grade won a field trip to St. Anne's Mission. On Wednesday, April 17th, we had a spring dress down day and a 1 p.m. early dismissal. Now on to this week's news. Today, Monday, April 29th, there will be a confirmation rehearsal at 6.30 p.m. in the church. On Tuesday, April 30th, we will be having an Easter egg hunt for the 3K, 4K, and Kinder classes. Later that day, the 8th grade confirmation will take place at 7 p.m. in the church. On Thursday, May 2nd, we will be having adoration of the Blessed Sacrament at 8 a.m. in the church. On Friday, May 3rd, there will be a First Holy Communion practice at 8 a.m. in the church. On Saturday, May 4th, the second graders will celebrate their First Holy Communion at 9 a.m. Help our eighth grade class with their fundraising efforts for the St. Hugh School Class 2019 Legacy Gift and make moms and grandmas happy with a beautiful orchid. Please don't forget to get an order form from your weekly newsletter. And now, here's Today in History. In 1813, rubber was patented by J.F. Hummel. In 1945, U.S. Army liberates 31,601 in the Nazi concentration camp in Dachau, Germany. In 1990, in 1990 the destruction of the Berlin Wall began. Well, now you know what's coming up this week. Have a wonderful day, and thank you for watching the Raider, Raider News. News.